Hey guys, what's up? Hi, I, I had this big in intro planned and I'm sorry if I'm stuttering. I'm like really tired. Like I was saying, I had this big intro planned and then I forgot all of it. But this video is all of my lipsticks, my liquid lipsticks, and a couple of lip balms. So I hope you guys really like this video and if you do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. You don't have to click the bell because honestly, I don't upload as often as I should. But if you want to, go ahead. So I'm going to start with these three lip balm type products. So I have this Chestique one. This is in the shade Barbados Berry. And I love Chestique's packaging. I have a, a pencil for like your eyebrows. It's one of their little mini ones. And it's like the same packaging. It's just thinner and skinnier. You guys, look how cool that is. But this just twists open and it's kind of shaped like an EOS. And it's definitely very pink. And it smells like mint. And then I have a Blistex medicated lip balm, which I use when my lips are super dry. And then I have a moisturizing chapstick, which I tend to typically put on at night. Let me wipe this off so it's not in the way. And then we'll get started. So I'm gonna start with all of my cream lipsticks. That's what this drawer is. I have this drawer right here, which is my liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to start with my cream lipsticks. I'm going to start on the bottom row. And then I'm going to start with the full size ones. And then I'm going to do these full size ones. And then this one over here is full size as well. And then I'll go into like the little minis. So let's do that. First, so I guess technically I'll start with this. This is a lip liner by Rimmel. It's transparent, so you can use it with any color and it won't affect it. It keeps it in place. I like that. So the first full size one I have is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is funny because my cat's name is Anastasia. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, especially my first spring break video, I think. I introduce you guys to my cat, her name is Anastasia, my favorite Disney movie, they have a good lipstick. This is in the shade Ruby, and it is a matte lipstick, so let's get a good swatch of that. Oh yes, I have not worn this shade yet, but believe me, I want to. And then, I have, this is not all of my lipsticks, this is just my basic general collection. In my last video, my everyday makeup drawer, I did have two liquid lipsticks and two cream lipsticks. So if you guys want to see those, make sure you watch my other video. I will. I would say I would link it below, but I'll probably forget. If it's up, go ahead and watch it. This is by Revlon. This is in the shade Mauve Night. This is a cream lipstick. I love Revlon's lipstick, you guys. I don't know if it's the formula or what, but I love these lipsticks and I love the shade. And then I have two of these Wet n Wild ones, and if you guys watched my review, you know that I, I'm, the, okay, this green is from a necklace I was wearing, please don't mind that. I originally hated these. I had a red one, I did not like it. I'll go ahead and swatch the darker one first. This one is in this shade Mocha Licious. I do wear this one, it's definitely more of like a fall color but that's more delicious then this one is in the shade bear it all 902c this one i wear like all the time this one is 914c so i have those and then i have this mark jacobs Le Marc liquid lip crayon in the shade night mobs I have worn this before. I do like it. It's one of those kind of, it's one of those lipsticks that like you have to like be wearing the right thing for it to look nice. It's not like, um, like say this shade where you can wear it with anything and it looks nice. I find that with like pink tone lipsticks, you have to be wearing the right thing. 
my last four full size ones and then I'll get into the one, two, three, the five small ones. These three of these are Maybelline matte lipsticks. This one is 660 Touch of Spice. Everyone raves about this one. I love this shade. Super similar to the other one, but just matte and a little bit darker. So that's Touch of Spice. Then I have Almond Rose, which I've worn quite a bit. Um, I find, again, you have to wear the right thing. So that's Almond Rose. And then I have, what is this one, Less for Blush, which I haven't worn all that often yet. And then this is Lust for Blush right there. And then this next full size one is by Bobbi Brown. It's in the shade Brocade. It is a luxe lip color and it is fat, you guys. And it didn't even come pointed. It came really round. So it, it's kind of wide. So it's kind of hard to get like in the contours of your lips with. But it's a beautiful color. Don't get me wrong. Okay, and then... The five little samples, I have a Marc Jacobs lipstick, a Le Marc lip cream in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I have not worn this shade on its own yet, but I want to. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful color. And then I have Kat Von D Lovecraft. I know there is controversy, but you guys, her lipsticks are real good. Smell good too. I have an Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Big Bang. My brother's girlfriend, my sister, I call her my sister even though she's not, she has the same shade and coincidentally, I think that it would be funny if she and I wore the same lipstick on the same day. I almost bought the full size one, but it's like $17, but that is it right there. So I'm excited to actually finally get the full size one. I don't know when I will, but I want to. This Fenty, be Fenty is expensive. This is in the shade Candy Venom. I have worn this once since I got it, you guys, and it is so little, but I have worn it once since I've gotten it. And don't get me wrong, it's a really pretty, pretty color. You just have to know what to pair it with. I own a lot of black. You can't see my closet, but it's like right over there. I own a lot of black. So like if I'm wearing a red, a color that I'm unsure about, chances are I'm wearing black with that. And then I have this YSL Rouge Pure Couture Lipstick in the shade 01. It's red. I have... I'll put this under Ruby so you guys can see how similar they are. So this is YSL and this is ADH or Anastasia. This one is more matte but it's also more like blue tone. This one's more of a pink tone. So let me put these away. Well, not like away, away, but just like back in here. I'll reorganize later. I needed to reorganize these anyway. So, I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to wipe my hand off conveniently with an already dirty makeup wipe. And just, you know, wiping my hand off. Trying to get all of these swatches off. And then I'm going to take this towel that I usually have out when I do makeup videos to wipe things off like if I get extra stuff on the back of my hand or something like extra foundation I just like put it back in the bottle and then I wipe it off uh, I'm gonna use the other side of this now to try to get some of this off a little bit more the matte ones are real hard to get off I mean liquid lipsticks even are but I'm not too concerned right now because I this is like the last hopefully the last video I filmed today I might film another one I don't know yet okay so now moving on to liquid lipsticks and this drawer is the drawer that I open and I get excited about because 
have quite a variety in here. So I'm going to start with the bottom row. No, nope. actually I'm going to do what I did with my regular ones and I'm going to swatch all the full size ones first. So let me get all of those out of here. And then I'll swatch the minis. So, this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream, I wore this in one of my previous videos. I think it was my uh, What's in My Bag video. I, oh, close. Wait, what? I love this color. It is a beautiful color. So, that's what that looks like. And then I have a Smashbox one. I have a couple of these. And this is that one where you never know what to wear with it, so you always wear black. This is in this shade. Did I tell you the shade of this one? This is the shade Fling. This one is in the shade Exo Vlada. This is from Vlada's line. You guys, I didn't know who Vlada was until I looked her up, and I feel so bad. Vlada, you ain't gonna watch this, but I am so sorry that I did not know who you were. But your lipsticks are real gorge. Just saying. This is this one. It's definitely very metallic, but you can't really tell. And I like that unless you're like super up close. So, like, if it's more in the light, you can tell. But where I have you guys, it's kind of dark, so you can't really tell. But that's okay. I have an Elf T Rose lip, matte liquid lipstick. And I had before. I had the matte lip pencil that was, this stuff is everywhere. It's like all over the applicator. <sighs> I loved this shade. This was a shade that I used to wear all of the time. And I've slowly grown out of it, but I still do like it. It's a beautiful purple shade. It's like a grayish tone, so I'm proud of that one. This one, I bought... And I wasn't too big a fan of it, okay? And the reason why is because the color on the box was different than the color that's in here. This is by Stila. It's in the shade Perla. And I think I've worn this shade once. It's not necessarily a bad color. It's just not a color that suits me well. At least I don't think. So, if you guys like this color, please let me know, because I want to wear it, I just, I'll figure something out. This is a Ciate London Liquid Velvet in the shade O oh Honey. This does not remind me of honey. This is kind of like a caramel color. And I wore this once, I wore it out, and a bunch of my friends said they liked the color. And don't get me wrong. It's decent. There's the cat hair. I like this color. It's just not on me. It is too dark. But I like the formula. Seattle London lipsticks. Do they have a smell? I forgot to smell it. Hold on. The, oh. It smells like nail glue. Okay. So I have another liquid cat suit. In the shade Missy and Fierce. This is red. I own quite a few reds. If you don't know me, I do not wear red lipstick all that often, but I like to think I do, so I own like three or four of them. This is Missy and Fierce right here. And then the last liquid lipstick that I have, well the last full size one, is by Amuse Cosmetics. This is in the shade June, and it definitely reminds me a lot of my wet and wild one but they're different colors they're different enough which okay now that i'm thinking about it this kind of looks like this elf one too okay what have i done to myself so this is the amuse one which kind of looks like this elf one which now makes me wonder about
which now makes me wonder about this shade right here. This is another liquid katsu in the shade Rebel Rose. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are like super similar. I did not realize this until just now and I feel so bad because I hate having things that are like the same. Actually, okay, so this one's Rebel Rose by what? No. Yes, this one's Rebel Rose. This one, okay, these two actually don't look that much alike. This one is Tea Rose by Wet n Wild and this one is Amuse Cosmetics. I definitely think that these two look alike. This one actually kind of looks a little bit like like Perla, but getting off topic. Okay, so next I have Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Driver Seat. I love the little applicator for Smashbox's look, like liquid lipsticks because they're like curved and they're pointed. And I really like that. Okay. I wore this actually, if you guys watched, I think in December, I posted a picture on my Instagram. I was wearing this lipstick and I was having dinner with one of my best friends from like elementary school. And I wore this lipstick and I love it. It's this one. I, it's great. I might like it a little bit more than I like the Huda Beauty one. Okay, this is a Tarte Tardis lip paint in the shade Exposed. Um, this one is really light. So I don't know if I would wear it, but I'll give it a shot. This one, this Grande Lips one... I have never been too sure. This smells amazing. This is in the shade Smoked Sherry. I love Sherry, you guys. I also like ribs. <laughs> um, however, this shade, it's very patchy and it's hard to apply because I put, I do my top lip first, then I, or I do my bottom. Then I put my lips together and then I fill in the top and then I put my lips together again. And this shade is so patchy when you do that and it needs like a topper and I'm just like so confused. But it's a pretty killer. This Sephora cream lip stain, I have never worn this. My friends, my cousin, we had the same one. I think my cousin and I have the same one, I don't really know, but I know I have the same one as my friend Gabby. So this one's more of like a lighter red than this one. So I like that one. And then these next two and these last two are from Ulta Beauty. These are metallic matte liquid lipsticks. I have the shade Sassy and the shade Sharp Edges. So I'm going to swatch Sassy first because truthfully I don't wear Sassy. It's definitely very thin. It reminds me of lip gloss in a way. But this is sassy. And I'm not going to wear this, so I'm going to stick it in here. And then this is Sharp Edges. And I love this shade. This is, I'm going to put it right there hold on let me get a little bit more on that sharp edges and I really like this color I do have one more but I don't wear it so I didn't want to include it but might as well this is silk indulgent by nice face my mom bought it for me truthfully I don't wear it this I, I put it on, not only did it burn my lips, it made me look like I had, like, Nikki tutorials lips going on. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Don't think that's what I'm saying. But, like, it made me look like I just didn't have lips. So, hopefully, you know, I don't have that problem, but... That is everything for this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And let me know 
what video you guys think I should do next. Should I do what my brother, or like what having a brother has taught me, or what my mom has taught me in 20 years? Because I'm going to be 20 this year, and you guys, my mom has taught me a lot. And so I'm going to let you two pick. Oh my gosh. I'm going to let you pick between the two which one you think I should do. And... I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.